I have wanted to make this video for a hot minute. Come on! <sighs> I am ready to get stoked about daily planning. Who would have thunk it? So for those of you that are unaware, I am a huge Morgan calendar user. A lot of people talk about Notion calendar. This guy over here, you see this guy? Kind of gross for me, at least. It doesn't doesn't really scratch the itch. Just scratch scratch the itch for me. Like itches. Now Morgan, which is a competitor, small fry in the public space in comparison. Doesn't have a ten billion dollar valuation. Just gonna point that out. Has a new Notion integration that just released. Hey, let's go. Hey, let's go. Come on. They didn't purchase a calendar and then reskin it two years and try to pull a fast one acting like it's a whole new app. So, <laughs> enough shade thrown on. <laughs> Jeez, they just got bodied. Sorry about it, Notion. So enough shade thrown on it. I'm gonna open up Morgan and you'll see that I have a nice little integration with Notion now, which is really cool. For those of you who are gonna take a journey with me, you'll see that it is a Tuesday and right here, what I have is a app that has a bunch of different colored calendars and stuff. So let, let me just break down for you what exactly all of this is. First and foremost, Morgan is a calendar app that allows you to manage your calendars across various accounts. This would include Google, Office 365, Outlook, Fastmail, any other subscription, iCloud, and more. I'm a big fan of this for the main reason that it can aggregate things over not just Google. Notion Calendar just says Google multi-billion dollar company, by the way. And if I needed to connect it for Outlook for any reason or other calendar providers, I definitely can. That's a great part of the product. So I can connect all my stuff in here. It has a pretty solid shortcut system, right? It has a global shortcut for Command Shift K, which does coincide with Notion. But if I wanted to, I can adjust this to something else and vice versa with Notion. So it's really cool. I'm a fan of it in general. And one of the other main parts about it that I like is that it has some integrations. If we go to external accounts here, you'll see that I have a myriad of them connected, one of them being Notion. Now the Notion setup is actually really simple. Literally you go to the top left, connect to task integration, press add account, click on Notion. I believe this will require a pro account soon. But if I sign in with Notion, it brings me here, I select a specific database, press allow access, and then the process completes. And it completes in the sense that you are able to have this connected and set up some of these properties. So we have the ability to set it so that only tasks that are assigned to me can be shown, which is very useful because I just grabbed a task database. You pick the property that you want to utilize as the assigned to property for that instance. To find when a task is complete, this can be done for a status property, a select property, as well as a checkbox. So I have that here as status, which is my checkbox property. And then you can have a Notion property sync to showcase the task description. And then you can put which Notion property should be displayed as the Morgan task due date. That would be time. Now this is essentially what is marked as a due date by clicking on it. You can see right here, that is the due date. Not necessarily when it's dragged on the calendar. A delineation between this and Notion calendar is that if I were to move this, it does not necessarily sync to my Notion calendar. This still says today, even though that's tomorrow, it doesn't sync in that way or the time function, but it does sync from Notion to show you when it's due, not necessarily when the task is applied to your calendar. And then if you have an estimated time duration and you are like jotting down how long you think the task will take inside of Morgan, it will pop up if you assign that property to something in here. So now that it's all connected, you can see on the top left, we have a pretty good app here. So on the bottom, you can see that I actually have this grouped by priority. I have a couple different names for my priorities in the task management that I do. We have content, which is like me recording and whatnot. Hi, do I have to explain that one? <laughs> um, then we have medium, do I have to explain that one? And then we have something called MRT backlog. This is essentially a log of different tasks that I usually complete within just a block in the morning or in the afternoon when I'm just like quickly doing like five minute tasks, right? Things like paying off my credit card on a recurring basis uh, and a bunch of other computer related tasks that only really take a few minutes. Now, inside of here, what's really cool is that I can set my created tasks for the day 
into my calendar, right? So the way that this is set up is actually really cool. You'll notice that on this, if I press unschedule task, that it's actually gonna have that task repopulate on the side here. The reason for that being is that I set it up in this so that the scheduled tasks would not be shown up. So if, if I tick or untick this, you'll see that basically this little indication showcases that it's like, oh, it's on the calendar, that's cool. But I, I really preferred so that if I were to, you know, grab something like this and drag it onto the calendar, that it would go away over here. I think a, a big example for me is that at the end of the day, I usually reconcile my tasks so I can just grab a little more time for myself and just take this and put a slot to reconcile, right? Then it removes it from here. And essentially I'm daily planning, which is really cool. I can plan my day out, do my little time blocking with all my tasks in here. And then once I check off a task within here, it does in fact check it off in the same database inside of Notion. Now, what's really cool as well is the fact that I can click on this on the top right or double click into it, click open in Notion, and it will bring me to the Notion page, i.e. If I click on it just like that, I was brought to the Notion page. Pretty dang cool, right? That open and no, you, you don't see integrations that are this good, right? Like you, you just don't see it. Click, on, I'm in, I'm in there, I'm in there that quick. Pretty dang cool. And what's great is the fact that, and I, I don't want to be rude to Notion, but I'm gonna be rude to Notion. The fact that inside of Notion Calendar. If I were to add a item onto my calendar, uh, you know, you, you you know, it doesn't happen. Um, it, it, it doesn't show up on my actual Google calendar. It's just literally limited to this like task database reference point, right? Like me taking a task here and just like putting it on the calendar or whatever. This gang, this, 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 this ain't gonna show up on my, uh, on my actual calendar. It, it, it ain't gonna do that. But, when it comes to my Morgan calendar, it actually is applying it to the calendar I set it for. Like I set it to this Rise Productive calendar, right? And this is showing up in my Google calendar. As we all know, third-party calendar applications bug out sometimes and sometimes you gotta go to the source of truth that is Google calendar. Or you don't have access to the third-party application for whatever reason. This is kind of clutch, especially since sometimes you need to share some meeting information with people. Uh, what if you just can't reference it because it's just a notion entity that isn't really on your calendar. Oh, huh. maybe, uh, wait a second. I know, maybe the entire way it's set up for notion calendar is flawed, crazy thought. Um, or they just don't have the option to do it and that, that kind of like grinds my gears to be honest. But the fact that I can time block, have a delineation pretty obviously from a visual standpoint, right? That this is like the, the black stuff is the tasks, right? I have the little check box as a delineation. It's very cool to me. So uh, I'm a big fan of it. You're able to group by a couple different properties. They're gonna add new things like relations and whatnot as well. Um, you can show some of the groups and not. I have made some cool suggestions as well that I hope will come to the forefront as uh, I do have a good relationship with the people at Morgan and love giving my feedback as much as any other Notion or other personal productivity app nerd would. But this is a pretty cool system, right? Just being able to take any of these tasks like, ooh, actually I need to fit in some time to journal. I would say I can fit in a little 15 minute session right here. Let's do that, drop it in there. And then, you know, this backlog, I know I'm gonna do it during this time. I don't know if I really need to put it in there, but if I wanted to, I can drop the little, like, you know, I know I'm gonna write a little email to Kraft saying, hey, I'm gonna review your apps more. Uh, can you, <laughs> you please give me free access because I'm so needy all the time, all right? So drop that in there if I want to. Maybe adjust the time block here. And then I'm pretty much daily planned. And you can do this for the upcoming tasks as well. I know that I do like some daily QA for content so I can just like jot in a time that makes sense, you know, where there's no meetings or anything like that. So I can be like, okay, boop, daily plan that out. If you'd like that, leave a comment down below. And if, if you think this is way better than Notion Calendar's integration, tell me, tell a friend. Tell all your friends. Be your friend, tell a friend something nice that might change their life. So Morgan is back. You didn't really go anywhere, but you're gonna go right here to check out this video on how to improve your skills using Notion, Morgan, and everything else even more.